Hi, my name is Lee Kusumba, here to share some fascinating insights around Africa Connected 2.0, brought to you by Standard Bank, 702 and Cape Talk. The only way to truly gain insights around the continent is to experience her firsthand. So we discovered how African businesses face, innovate and overcome challenges in a uniquely African way. First up was Ethiopia, and one of the great stories coming out of this trip was that of Ethiopian Airlines, Africa's oldest and most successful airline. Ethiopian Airlines has managed to transition into, firstly, the only profitable airline in Africa, and secondly, they really have given us a new spirit and a new heart and a new idea with regards to what African Airlines can be. Ethiopian Airlines is, you can say, it is self-sufficient airline. We have our own maintenance, we have our own aviation academy, we have our, our own catering. And next I found myself in Ghana. We decided to try and get ahead of the curve a little bit in Ghana. So we thought, okay, why don't we set up a taxi on demand service here, but instead of using private cars, let's use the local taxis. Okay, so that yeah. they're identifiable. Exactly, and also so that we, we try to preserve the local taxi industry by putting them on a, on a level playing field with Uber. And then I was flying again. Well, sort of. As a person, I can't easily recognize the differences between uh, maybe different leaves or anything like that. But using drones and special sensors, yes. they're able to tell the type of chlorophyll that is supposed to be with a plant, you know, and which plants are water stressed. So where are we going to spend more of our irrigation system, like pouring water? So we, we have yes, all that so data, you know. Like, imagine having an irrigation system just, that just pours everywhere around the farm. That's electricity, isn't it? That costs you a lot of money. But if you only target certain so sections of your plantation that, you save more water, so no more water pumping for you, so it's better for you in terms of cost. During the trip to Mozambique, I spoke to the commercial manager for the port of Vera. We spoke about not only rebuilding the city of Vera, but also the port more specifically. We've seen the port grow tremendously. Uh, here in this container terminal, for example, 1998, uh, 2000, we did about 30,000 containers per year, or TEUs per year. And this year, we'll probably end up doing around 240,000 TEUs. So the ports have seen uh, an incredible development. And finally, it was time for some show business, Nigeria style. Sometimes people say Nigeria, our export is oil. I don't think so. I think our greatest export is our culture right now. Yes. Yes, because everywhere Nigerian music is being played, Nigerian films are being watched. So that's our export. And I'm telling you, it's great. So if Africa begins to tell their stories, then of course the narrative about Africa will change. Those were some of the inspiring moments.